Hey guys, so the OnePlus 5T is out and it turned out exactly like we have seen in the leaks. It's a pretty solid $500 phone, but how does it stack up against the beast Samsung Galaxy S8? Now that S8 costs $600, it's quite cheap these days compared to its original price when it was launched earlier this year. So the question is, which one you should go for? Let's talk about it. All right, first comes the design. Now this one is pretty straightforward. I think most people will agree that the Galaxy S8 is a better looking phone. I mean, the gloss back, a metal on the side, and of course, it supports wireless charging. Plus, it's officially IP68 certified, while the OnePlus 5T has a same look as the OnePlus 5, uh, which is the traditional iPhone kind of look with full aluminum body. Uh, the only difference this time is that the fingerprint sensor has gone to the back, and it does have a better fingerprint reader position compared to the S8, uh, which is a plus point, but again, no wireless charging. I think the S8 wins it for the look and design department, in my opinion. Next, the display. Now, the OnePlus 5T has gone bezel-less with 6-inch display, 1080 by 2160 full optic AMOLED display with 2.5D Gorilla Gloss 5 protection on it. It's an 18 by 9 display and it has an 80.5 screen to body ratio. Now the Galaxy S8 on the other hand comes with a 5.8 inch quad HD display. It's uh, more brighter and it also has curved edges. So if you like the edge, you will like the S8 more again. If you like the flat screen, you may not like the S8, but overall the S8 seems to be better in the display department because it's quad HD. Uh, things will be a little extra crisp. Again, 1080p on the OnePlus 5T is not a bad display by any means, but you are getting better on the Galaxy S8. That's what I'm saying. And the S8 also has a better screen to body ratio compared to the OnePlus 5T. Next comes the software. Now the 5T rocks the Oxygen OS based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat, while the Galaxy S8 is also a Nougat, but the Oreo testing is in full development. I think both phones will eventually get the update in January. Maybe OnePlus 5T might receive the update uh, first compared to the S8 in December, uh, but the difference, main difference, it comes down to the interface. So the OnePlus 5T has the stock look, while the Galaxy S8 has the Samsung Experience UI with Samsung's own stuff going on. I personally like both of these UIs. The Galaxy S8 just packs so many features. I made a full review of the Oreo update. It's probably more than the OnePlus 5T stock look, but 5T might be more snappy and some people prefer the stock look over a custom skin. So again, it is a win-win situation for both phones. I like both software device and then comes the camera. Now the OnePlus 5T rocks 16 plus 20 megapixel combination with f1.7 aperture this time on both of these sensors. So uh, there's no optical zoom, but they have improved the low light performance and it's gonna be better with the portrait mode as well so the portrait mode will give you amazing shots like this and in my opinion it's a must-have feature on your phone if you haven't used a phone without portrait mode I think you are missing on a big feature so uh, the Galaxy S8 on the other hand is coming with only one single camera it is a pretty top-notch camera but there is no secondary camera sensor so there's no portrait mode so 5D gives you that and and I don't think Samsung will ever give the Galaxy S8 say the live focus mode because it is something that they gave with the Galaxy Note 8 and of course if you want to have that you have to pay like $300 more or it depends where you live because the Galaxy Note 8 is a super expensive phone and just to get the dual camera and that live focus thing you have to go for the Note 8 and Note 8 is a completely different and a super expensive phone compared to the OnePlus 5T. So, so definitely because of the dual camera, portrait mode stuff, uh, I think OnePlus 5T is having a upper hand over the Galaxy S8. At $500, you're getting a solid dual camera that the S8 can't beat. Both of these two phones feature face unlock, fingerprint scanner. The Galaxy S8 does have an iris scanner as well. The face unlock works pretty fast on the OnePlus 5T as tested by the MKBHD. I think both of these two phones will provide you some good security features. You're not missing out on any of these. Battery-wise, we have a 3300 mAh cell on the OnePlus 5T, so the performance would be very similar to the OnePlus 5. It's the same battery size. 
and the display resolution is still 1080p so I think the performance will be very similar to the OnePlus 5 and if you guys do know about my battery drain test that I did in all-star battery drain test the OnePlus 5 did really good it came third right below the S8 plus so, so without a doubt OnePlus 5T is going to be a really good phone battery wise the S8 is also pretty good in this department you'll have no problem getting through the day of usage however the OnePlus 5T charges up faster than any phone out there with about 15 to 20 minutes early than a Galaxy S8 so at the end of the day if you pay more for the Galaxy S8 you get a better build quality or look in my opinion and also you get wireless charging you get high resolution display you get water resistance you also get an SD card slot for storage expansion on the other hand the OnePlus 5T provides you a fast stock software experience it is a cheaper phone $500 is excellent is excellent in 2017 you also get a pretty good battery life as well as pretty awesome dual camera features which is actually the main upper hand of the 5t over the s8 and you also get faster dash charging so i think i made this pretty clear for those who want to decide which phone they want to go for again you have to see uh, both winning situations of both phones which one you want the most so both phones are great for those people who want to spend less uh, in this age of 2017 where smartphones are getting so so expensive so i hope this will help you in making that final decision about which phone you should go for soon the oneplus 5t will be here so we'll be doing our testing our speed test our camera test our battery drain test so for all that make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace out